Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Gothic Knob the Raven. Well, I was right. Talon is here. Hey, you. Where are you going? Take me across the pass, please. All right. Thank you. But when you cross, I'll simply follow you. Okay, so let's go across the pass. Now, this will be the beginning of Chapter 5. This is probably the shortest chapter in the entire game. There's, well, basically, there's almost nothing here to do except get a ship, get some crew members, and yeah, that's pretty much it. So, um, there's a few things I want to talk about in chapter 5. Uh, there's around 11 quests we haven't done. One quest I am definitely not going to make a video of. Mainly because it's just... Uh, how do I explain it? You can do this in your own time. I didn't really need to make a video for it. And besides, the quest can, uh, takes around two hours or so. And I seriously don't want to film myself going everywhere. That quest is the dragon eggs. Okay, I was exaggerating when I said two hours. But it would take around 40 minutes or so. Mainly what you have to do is go around random caves in Corinus and kill lizardmen and get um, dragon eggs. Woohoo. Now, I, I seriously despise this quest. But, yeah, I, I seriously have no words to say about this quest. So that's why I'm not going to do it, mainly because it's too long, secondly it's very easy, uh, thirdly, I, I just, it's, I'm too lazy to go to all the caves and film myself, and fourthly, uh, this quest you can do in your own time, by mainly if you need help with this quest, just go to that map seller guy in Corinus, near the harbour. And he'll help you out. Now, if you're wondering why this is taking so long, is because um, the transition from Corinus to, I mean, from Valley of the Mines to Corinus, after I completed uh, the major quest, is very shockingly long. Now, it's almost done, but it usually takes me one minute or so. It's taking a bit long to load. And if you're also wondering, my computer's running extremely slowly for some reason. That's kind of ironic, because I uh, cleaned up my entire computer just yesterday, and now it's just running like crap. I I, I don't understand why, but oh well. So I'm a bit worried that the game's stuffed up. Oh no, never mind. It's done. Almost. Come on, Gothic. There we go. Chapter 5, Departure. Now, let's this load. Shouldn't take long. The hell is this? Um, why the hell can't I play? What the hell was that? Sh stupid computer. Okay, well, um, this is chapter 5. So, uh, to begin with, I'm just gonna show you something pretty cool, which I didn't show you in the other episodes. That is this. An orc. Okay, um, not really. The orc is actually guarding uh, an area to another 20 orcs, which are guarding an area to the entrance, another entrance to the Valley of the Mines. Now, I could have went that way, but I'm way too lazy to kill off all the orcs, and I seriously need my bows and arrows for, uh, of course, the final fight in... Oh, I'm not going to spoil the game for you. Of course, if you've played it, you're already known. If you haven't, well, you'll see. Now, the 
first thing you should do is go to uh, Sardis and as you can see I'm getting attacked well not me let's see it's getting attacked by random creatures known as lizardmen of course you already know that so uh, let's talk to Lester Sardas. He's gone. And he left these demonic beings behind in his tower. I think he doesn't want anyone sniffing around his tower in his absence. Where did he go? He didn't say. He only asked me to give you this letter from him. I read it. Sorry, I was curious. And? No idea. I didn't understand a word, man. But one thing's clear to me. We won't see him again anytime soon. I think things just got too hot for him, and he headed for the hills. Okay, I don't really want to open this letter now, but if you're wondering, it's a spell to open up the book, the holes of, um, Eidorath. Oh, lag! Jesus Christ, this is ridiculous. Now... I'm not opening uh, the scroll, the letter up, I mean, mainly because I don't want to waste time, and seeing as how much I'm lagging, would waste even more time, and I'm even worried that my computer will stuff up if I open up the letter. That's how bloody laggy this game is. I mean, my computer, sorry. This game's fine. My computer just sucks. Now, if you're wondering why I'm not teleporting anywhere, it's because, well, you'll see. There's a quest uh, involving Lobart and his farm, and you well, you'll see. Now, his farm is being attacked by numerous numbers of orcs, and what the hell is the seeker doing there? I thought all seekers are dead in chapter five. Not Bloody hell, this is... Uh, I, I am going to name this uh, this episode Lag. Just Lag. Because I, I couldn't care less about why I named this episode. I, I swear, at times I, I just want to throw my computer away somewhere. So I never... Oh my god! Well, as you can see, those are the orcs I have to kill. They're not too difficult, but yeah. So let me just go in the corner somewhere. Sheep. Nah. <laughs> okay. Anyways, I've only got three minutes to go, so I better make this. Quick. I'm even worried that my computer will freeze after I shoot one arrow. Oh, come on. How the hell did I not hit anything? Bloody hell. So bloody stupid. I swear, this computer is gonna be destroyed in a few minutes. How the hell am I lagging so much? Oh, jeez! Okay, well... Oh dear. They're off to attack the farmers. That's amazing. Okay, well there's one. Well, I'm gonna finish up here. 
just go kill the orcs and then talk to Hagen to get the quest and then complete the quest. Right now I couldn't care less about anything. So yeah, see you later.